Before we begin, let me preface this by saying this is actually my favorite Disney movie of all time. One of my favorite movies, period. But I'm also a huge fan of the Twelve Labors of Heracles myth, and I thought it would just be fun to point out how different these two stories are for anyone who wanted to know. Let's get started. Long ago, in the faraway land of ancient Greece, there was a golden age of powerful gods and extraordinary heroes. The greatest and strongest of all these heroes was the mighty Hercules. I think you mean Heracles, considering Hercules is actually the Roman version of his name, and this is clearly the Greek version of his story, with everyone else having the Greek versions of their names. So, yeah, you want Heracles, not Hercules. Why does nobody get that right? We are the muses, goddesses of the arts, and proclaimers of heroes. The Muses do, in fact, sing the Legends of Heroes, so it's really cool that they have that here, but why are there only five of them? There's supposed to be nine Muses. And then along came Zeus, he hurled his thunderbolt, he's at... Zeus did not single-handedly defeat the Titans. He recruited the Cyclopses and the Hecatonchires by freeing them from Tartarus, then he recruited his five siblings by tricking Kronos into puking them up, and he even recruited some of the actual Titans themselves to his side. Heck, he wouldn't even have thunder if it weren't for the Cyclopses. Right. Tartarus does not have a gate made out of lightning bolts. The entrance was guarded by Compa during the reign of the Titans, and then was guarded by the Hecatonchires after Zeus took over. Zeus could never stop chaos in its tracks. Chaos is the oldest and most powerful primordial in all of Greek mythology. Zeus is no match for it. Oh, is that not what you were talking about? It most certainly is not, as I have just demonstrated. Yeah, once again, the name is Heracles. Hercules. Heracles. Hera is not the mother of Heracles. Heracles' actual mother is Alcmene, and he is the product of one of Zeus's many, 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 many affairs. Hera hates Heracles because of this, and does absolutely everything she can to try to kill him. Fabulous party, you know, I haven't seen this much love in a room since Narcissus discovered himself. <clears throat> Narcissus is not a god, and if he's discovered himself, then he should be a flower right now. Well, let's see here. We'll take, hmm, yes, a little Cirrus, and a, hmm, a touch of nimble Stratus, and a dash of Cumulus. His name is Pegasus. That is not how Pegasus was born. Pegasus sprung from the severed neck of Medusa after Perseus chopped her head off. Hades does not have fire for hair. As much as I like it, it's still inaccurate. You know, I haven't been this choked up since I got a hunk of moussaka caught in my throat. Huh? Moussaka was not created in Greece until the year 1920 AD, so not sure how Hades got that caught in his throat back in the BC era. He ran the underworld. But thought the dead were dull and uncool. He was as mean as he was ruthless. Hades is neither mean nor ruthless. He's actually a pretty neutral god. The closest things he's ever done to evil are kidnap Persephone and cheat on her with Minthe. And even those are only certain versions of certain stories. He's never really been the straight up villain of any actual Greek myth. In fact, he's usually pretty helpful and even downright charitable at times. Pain! Oh! And panic! <laughs> Reporting for duty! These two are not actual characters in Greek mythology. Unless, of course, they're supposed to be Deimos and Phobos, the gods of terror and panic. But those two are children of Ares and always accompany Ares on the battlefield, so why would they be serving Hades in the underworld? Fine, fine, fine. Just let me know the instant the fates arrive. They're here! Ah. The fates are here and you didn't tell me! Ah. Hades does not have fire powers, nor is he the god of fire. That would be Hephaestus. Ladies, I am so sorry that I'm- Late. We knew you would be. We know everything. Past, present, and future. The Fates do not actually share one eye. That is actually a different trio of old women known as the Grey Sisters. People often confuse the two. Fun fact, the Grey Sisters also share one tooth. So, let me just ask, is this kid gonna mess up my hostile takeover bit or what? What do you think? Hades has never plotted a hostile takeover of Olympus. Hera has, though, with the help of Apollo, Athena, and Poseidon. But Hades was not a part of that. 
Also, Hera is the actual villain of the Heracles story. It's actually kind of weird how many Hera attributes they seem to have given Hades in this story. Ladies, please. My fate is in your lovely hands. If we're merging the fates with the Grey Sisters here, then it obviously would have made a lot more sense for Hades to just take their eye away and refuse to give it back until they told him what he wanted to know. Especially considering that's exactly what Perseus did in his story. In 18 years, precisely, the planets will align ever so nicely. This planets aligning thing is not in the myth. The gates to Tartarus are always there, they're just guarded by the Hecatonchires, as I mentioned earlier. Aye, verse, aye. The time to act will be at hand. Unleash the Titans, you monstrous band. Hades would never want to free the Titans from Tartarus. He helped put them there in the first place because they were just as much his enemies as Zeus's. Actually, maybe even more so, considering Kronos swallowed him as a baby. A word of caution to this tale. Excuse me? Should Hercules fight, you will fail. <laughs> the Fates actually did predict that Heracles would help save Olympus from an invasion, but it wasn't by Hades and the Titans, it was by Gaia's giants, who are not in this film. I know this is going to shock people, but there were actually no elevators in Greek mythology. How do you kill a god? Heracles was not born a god. He was born a mortal demigod. He eventually became a god, but that was way later. Bingo! They're immortal! So, first you gotta turn the little sunspot... ...mortal. What is that, and where did it come from? Because it is not in Greek mythology. Perhaps they found it. Perhaps I have. Huh? You leaves? Heracles? <laughs> the two snakes that tried to kill Heracles as a baby were not shape-shifted minions of Hades, they were regular snakes sent by Hera. And Heracles didn't just toss them away, he straight up snapped both of their necks. when he finds out what happened. You mean, if he finds out. Of course he's gonna If. If is good. Hades knows every soul that enters the underworld. There is no way he would not know somebody didn't die. Zeus led all the gods on a frantic search. The chariot of Ares is not pulled by a couple of dogs. It is pulled by four golden fire-breathing horses. And the chariot of Athena is also pulled by horses. <laughs> Watch out! It's true that Heracles had trouble controlling his strength when he was younger, but he never destroyed a town or anything. Though, he did accidentally kill his music teacher once. I'm warning you, you keep that, that, that freak away from me! Heracles was not hated by his community. He lived on the outer part of his town, and he used his strength to kill predators who were a threat to the townspeople. As a result of that, they praised him and called him a hero. Mom. Pop. You're the greatest parents anyone could have, but... It is cool that we have Amphitryon and Alchemini here as his adoptive parents, considering they did raise Heracles in the myth, but where the heck is his half-brother, Ithocles? You didn't know about Ithocles, did you? This was around your neck when we found you. It's the symbol of the gods. No, that is one of the symbols of Zeus. There is no one symbol for all of the Greek gods. Every individual god has their own set of symbols. After all these years, is this the kind of hello you give your father? F F father? Didn't know you had a famous father, did you? Yes, he did, actually. Heracles always knew who his father was. I don't understand. If you're my father, that would make me a- A god. A god. Well, not necessarily. I mean, Zeus is also the father of Perseus, Helen, Minos, Cetus, Yarbus, Yasion, Colossus, Latinus, Manes, Megaris, Myrmidon, Polydeucus, Zethus, Tantalus, Sarpedon, Pelascus, Herophile, Arcus, Amphion, Amathion, Endymion, Epaphus, and several others. None of them were gods. 
Your mother and I loved you with all our hearts. But someone stole you from us and turned you mortal. And only gods can live on Mount Olympus. And you can't do a thing? I can't, Hercules, but you can! Uh, yes you can, Zeus. Greek gods do have the power to turn humans into gods if they want to. They've done it for Ariadne, Asclepius, Psyche, Helen, and, get this, Heracles! Really? What? I'll do anything. Hercules, if you can prove yourself a true hero on Earth, your godhood will be restored! There is no Greek story where a character becomes a true hero and thus automatically becomes a god. Also, becoming a god was not the reason Heracles went out and did all the things that gained him the glory he did. He did them because he had to as recompense for accidentally killing his family after Hera drove him insane. Uh, exactly how do you become a true hero? First, you must seek out Philoctetes, the trainer of heroes. Philoctetes is not the trainer of heroes. Chiron is. Philoctetes was a friend of Heracles, but he was not his trainer. You probably don't remember Pegasus, but you two go way back, son. Heracles never rode or even encountered Pegasus. That was Bellerophon. What's the matter, little guy? You stuck? Whoa! Hey, what out, buddy? Philoctetes was not a satyr, and neither was Chiron. Chiron was a centaur. <gasps> Girl! Stop! Stop! Come back! Come back! Come back! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Wait! Whoa! 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 whoa. Oh! Nymphs! They can't keep their hands off me. <laughs> This is actually a pretty spot-on representation of how nymphs and satyrs are in Greek mythology, but the thing is, Phil is clearly supposed to be a stand-in for Chiron, and yet this is not at all how Chiron would behave. Honestly, this is a lot more like Pan. So we've basically got a guy who looks and acts like Pan, but with Chiron's role and Philoctetes' name. What a weird hodgepodge. Watch it! That was part of the mass of the Argo. The Argo? Good. What do you mean, the Argo? The Argo isn't even a thing yet, and when it is a thing, you will be one of the first people on it. Who do you think taught Jason how to sail? Cleopatra? Well, I should think not, considering she hasn't even been born yet. I trained all those would-be heroes. Odysseus, Perseus, Theseus, a lot of yuses. For anyone wondering, Chiron did in fact train all of these heroes. However, the Iliad and the Odyssey both take place after the Twelve Labors of Heracles, so Odysseus would not yet be a household name. This spinning disc depicts the Minotaur taking down Theseus, which is not at all what happened. Theseus strangled the Minotaur to death from behind easily. Sure, Theseus doesn't have a happy ending, but the reason for that is not the Minotaur. He took that thing down. Every single one of those bums let me down, flatter than a discus. Also, how the heck did Perseus let you down? He defeated Medusa, defeated Cetus, defeated multiple tyrants, saved his mother, got the girl, and had a happy ending. What part of that is not good enough for you, Phil? And then, there was Achilles. <sighs> As I said a minute ago, the Iliad and therefore the Trojan War has not happened yet. But that flesh slug in a heel is! He barely gets nicked there once and kaboom! He's history. Barely gets nicked? Paris shot an arrow right through it. What is your definition of nicked? I dreamed I was going to train the greatest hero there ever was. So great, the gods would hang a picture of him in the stars. I guess nobody told him there actually is a constellation for Perseus. Somebody should really tell him. Hold it! Zeus is your father, right? Uh-huh. <coughs> Zeus, the big guy, he's your daddy! <laughs> Mr. Lightning Bolts, read me a book, would you, Dada? <laughs> Zeus, once upon a time! <laughs> it's the truth! Police! Why do you find this so hard to believe? You just said you trained Perseus, and he's also a son of Zeus. I know this is gonna shock people, but there were actually no Karate Kid references in Greek mythology. Heracles never really used a sword. His weapons of choice were his club, his bow and arrows, and his bare hands. <laughs> Not so fast, sweetheart. Oh, I swear Nessus put me down or I'll- Heracles did not encounter Nessus this early in his story. 
Nessus was actually the last monster Heracles ever slew, and in fact, Nessus actually caused the death of Heracles by tricking his wife, Deianira at the time, not Megara. Also, Nessus is not that big. This is not how Heracles defeated Nessus, he actually just shot him with a poison arrow. Are you... Uh, all right, miss? Uh... <coughs> Megara. My friends call me Meg, at least they would if I had any friends. Megara was Heracles' first wife, but she was not the love interest throughout his entire story. She actually tragically died very early on, when Hera drove Heracles insane and tricked him into killing his whole family, including Megara. So, uh, how'd you get mixed up with the... Pinhead with hooves? Well, you know how men are. They think no means yes, and get lost means take me, I'm yours. That's actually very Greek mythically accurate. All right, then. Yeah, I mean, Hercules is a very popular name nowadays. Remember, like, a few years ago, every other boy was named Jason, and the girls were all named Brittany? Actually, nobody was ever named Brittany until the year 1966. And who are you? <gasps> I'm Hercules. Heracles. Funny joke, but those are Roman numerals, and this is not Rome. In fact, Rome doesn't even exist yet. <laughs> Phil? What do you call that thing? Two words! I'm <laughs> screwed! Heracles did not face the Hydra in a gorge in Thebes, he faced it in the swamps of Lernia. Also, the Hydra is not that big. <laughs> Fun fact, the Hydra's breath is toxic enough to cause instant death to anybody. If Heracles got swallowed by that thing, he would not survive. <laughs> The Hydra does not start with one head and then grow more after being decapitated. The Hydra has nine heads and it simply regrows whatever heads are chopped off. <laughs> this is not how Heracles defeated the Hydra. What he did was he chopped off its heads and burnt the stumps so new heads couldn't grow, then he ripped off the final immortal head and buried it under a rock which I'm only just now realizing is probably being referenced by the Hydra being buried under all these rocks. Huh. Hydra! Heracles did not kill the Arimanthian boar. He was tasked with capturing it alive. Heracles was not paid for his labors. He actually tried to get paid for cleaning the Augean stables, but not only did that not end up happening, but the fact that he even tried to make that happen resulted in that labor being disqualified from his other labors. Why would you say amen in ancient Greece? The Nemean lion was actually the first monster Heracles faced, not the fourth. I know this is gonna shock people, but there were actually no action figures with inflatable pectoral muscles in Greek mythology. Is that supposed to be a Stymphalian bird? Cause if so, why is it so big and why isn't it made of metal? Or maybe it's supposed to be the Prometheus vulture, but if that's so, then where the heck is Prometheus? Is that supposed to be Scylla? Heracles did not fight Scylla. Who was the gladium gladiator? Heracles. Heracles did not fight the Minotaur, that was Theseus. He also did not fight any Gorgons or Griffins. Heracles did not plug any volcanoes. Thanks for showcasing some of the labors in that montage, though we are technically still missing the Cretan Bull, the Doe of Artemis, the Augean Stables, the Mares of Diomedes, the Girdle of Hippolyta, the Red Cows of Gurion, and the Apples of the Hesperides Tree. For what, Pandora? It was the box thing. For the Trojans, hey, they bet on the wrong horse, okay? The Trojan War has not happened yet! Hey, look, he's finally wearing the Nemean lion skin for like 10 seconds. Did you know in the myth he wears it for almost the entire story? Listen to me, she- A dream come true? <laughs> not exactly. More beautiful than Aphrodite? Whoa, hey, you can't go saying stuff like that in Greek mythology. That's how you get people killed. Or worse. Usually worse. Jeez Louise, what got his goat, huh?
Is this a good time to point out that Hades doesn't seem to have his Biden or his helmet of invisibility in this movie? You've got to swear she'll be safe from any harm. Fine, okay, I'll give you that one. Make it safe, otherwise you get your strength right back. Yada yada, fine friend, boy, the play, blah, okay? We're done. What do you say we're shaking? Like? All right. Yes, we're... Yeah, Heracles never lost or gave up his strength in the myth. And now that I set you free... What is the first thing you are going to do? I guess Hades has the power to absorb Zeus's thunderbolts now. Destroy him! Why are there only five titans? There's 12 major titans and several minor titans, and I know they all didn't get thrown in Tartarus, but more than five of them did. Where the heck is Kronos? Look, these titans are awesome. But these are not the titans. None of their appearances or powers actually match the titans from Greek mythology. Like, okay, maybe if you want to reach, you could claim that the Ice Titan is supposed to be Coius, the Titan of the North, and maybe the Lava Titan is supposed to be Persis, the Titan of Destruction. That's the best I can come up with. But then that theory completely falls apart when you take one look at the Disney villainous board game and you find out that these titans are named Hydros, Pyros, Lethos, Stratos, and Argus. None of those names apply to any of the actual titans. Hold it, right eye. Oh. This seems to be an Elder Cyclops, which is not a Titan, and would not be with the Titans because the Elder Cyclopses fought against the Titans in the war. And now they work with Zeus. Considering the Titans lost a war with the gods back when there were only six gods, it's kinda weird that they're winning so much when there are way more of them nowadays. Also, where the heck are the Hecatonkeries? I think they'd be a heck of a lot of help right now. Heck. So, you mighty Hercules! <laughs> 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 You know, Heracles is a lot more than just his strength. He's very smart, clever, and tactical. He slew the Hydra, Antaeus, and Gurion by figuring out what their weaknesses were when it wasn't obvious at all. He even managed to outwit Atlas at one point. Heracles never fought the Titans. He was, however, instrumental in fighting off the Giants, as I said before. Which I'm really thinking is what inspired this. Here, it seems like all three fates are only interested in cutting the threads of life, whereas in the myth, one of them is supposed to be spinning it, while another one measures it, and the third one cuts it. Kid. There's some things you just can't change. Yes, I can. Heracles did actually go to the underworld to request that Hades restore the soul of a dead woman. However, it was not his woman. The woman was Queen Alcestis, the wife of Heracles' good friend, King Admetus, and he was successful. Oh, hey, a nod to the delivery of Cerberus. Except in the myth, he did it because it was one of his labors, and he didn't tame Cerberus until he got permission from Hades. You like making deals. Take me in Meg's place. When Heracles went to the underworld to retrieve the soul of Alcestis, Hades didn't give Heracles some sort of price. He was so moved by the love story Heracles told Hades about Alcestis and her husband that he just gave her to him. Oh, you know what's in my mind? You'll be dead before you can get to her. That's not a problem, is it? Plunging into the river Styx doesn't drain the life from your body, it actually makes your skin completely impenetrable. Ever heard of Achilles? Oh. What's the matter with you, sister? So what happened to the fates knowing everything, past, present, and future? Alive, you'd have to be a, a god? This is not how Heracles became a god. The gods simply granted him godhood after his death. Three cheers for the mighty Hercules! Heracles! 
This is the moment I've always dreamed of. But... A life without Meg, even an immortal life, would be empty. I... I wish to stay on Earth with her. I finally know where I belong. <laughs> Sorry, Megara, but Heracles did not reject godhood. He, in fact, accepted it and lived as a god forevermore. He also did not end up with you. He ended up with Hebe, the goddess of eternal youth. Hey, hope you enjoyed that video. Just want to give a shout out to my awesome Patreon supporters, Simon Wolfer, Just a Knight, Robert Ray, Gilda Ramos, and Sage LG. You guys are the lifeblood of this channel. If you want to help support this channel and make more long videos like this possible, please consider supporting. The link is in the description below. Also, if you're interested, I am working on a mythology-based card game. If you're into mythology, I think you're going to be into this game. So, the link for the game's website and Instagram are also both in the description of this video. Please check it out. Bye-bye now.